Hi, uh, my name is Taryn. I played for Dal between 2009 and 2013, uh, and I'm really excited to answer some questions for you. Um, I would be lying if I said that you know, go, living on the East Coast wasn't something I'd, I'd wanted to do for a while. I love the East Coast of Canada. I love the culture. I love the music. I love the landscape. Um, so that's what initially drew me to Dal. Uh, but then I also really liked the idea that I wasn't going to sacrifice a good education in order to play for a good soccer team. Um, you know, a, a degree from Dal is respected around the world. So I liked the fact I could play soccer on a good team but at the end of four or five years, graduate with a degree that meant something. Um, and finally, in terms of the soccer program, I spoke to uh, a recruiter who put me in touch with a coach and, you know, they kind of told me everything I wanted to hear. I, I, I went and watched some games um, and they not only seemed to have chemistry on the field, but off the field as well, which was really important to me. Uh, at the time, I honestly felt like there were some legends on that team and the thought of playing with them was, you know, really exciting to me. A bit nerve-wracking, but mostly exciting. Um, and yeah, I just, I just felt like sort of all those pieces together made Dell my number one choice. I think I have to mention, obviously, being back-to-back uh, -back AUS champs, that was a big one. Um, Beating PEI one year and Cape Breton the next on their home turf was, was pretty amazing. And there are very few things that measure up to that level of pride that I felt on those two <laughs> occasions. Um, but I think for me, I think more often about some of the little things like, you know, practice than going to the dining hall uh, with teammates, you know, pregame rituals in the team room, uh, road trips, varsity events, um, you know, varsity dodgeball. Uh, going to watch other teams play with my teammates, things like that um, stand out in my memory more than some of those big victories. Um, but I think the best part was just having, you know, a group of core, core girls that you knew were going through the same sort of intense ups and downs that you were um, throughout those four or five years. Um, but honestly, I loved it all. So in my fifth year, I uh, went to school for half the year, finished the first semester, and then I worked um, for Dow Student Life part-time, which was an awesome chance to get some professional experience on my resume. But what I ended up doing, what I had wanted to do for a long time, was become a teacher. So I ended up going to the University of Ottawa, uh, and I became a high school teacher. Um, and I was really lucky after that to get a job right away at a boarding school running a dorm and supply teaching their coaching uh, and pursuing all sort of other uh, extracurriculars. Uh, and then I realized I wasn't quite ready to be a full-on professional, so I took a year and was a, a ski bum in BC. Uh, no regrets there, that was an amazing year. And most recently, uh, about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, I moved to London, England, which is where I live now, and I work as a music teacher.